In this video, we will be looking at the first derivative to determine the open intervals on which a function is increasing and decreasing. Our theorem that we'll be using, if f is continuous and differentiable, then f is increasing if the derivative is positive. Now remember, derivative is the slope of the tangent line. And so basically we're saying that if our tangent line has a slope that's positive, then our function is increasing, so going up. f is decreasing if the first derivative is negative. So again, our tangent line is going to have a negative slope. So our function is going downhill or decreasing. And f is constant if our derivative is equal to 0. The example that we'll be doing is find the open intervals on which f of x equal x cubed minus 3 halves x squared is increasing and decreasing. So our first step is to locate the critical numbers. And we'll do that by finding the derivative and then setting the derivative equal to 0. I'm going to factor out a 3x. So x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1. And these are my critical numbers. Now, these critical numbers define the intervals. So on our number line, we have 0 and 1. So we have the interval from negative infinity to 0. We have the interval from 0 to 1. And we have the interval from 1 to infinity. So what we want to do is determine the sign of our derivative in each interval. So we're going to pick test values. In each interval. and evaluate f prime. So in this interval, let's use a test value of negative 1. And you can use any number as long as it's in that interval. In this one, let's use 1 half. And from 1 to infinity, let's use 2. So 
So in this one, let's see, f prime of negative 1. We want our derivatives. x squared minus 3x. And I want to put negative 1 in for x. And looks like I've got 6. In this one, we'll put 1 half for x. I get negative 0.75. And then let's put 2 and we have 6. So the intervals where the derivative is positive will be increasing. from negative infinity to zero. This one's negative, so decreasing. From zero to one. And this interval, the test value turned out positive, so increasing. From one to infinity. There's also a new word that you may come across, so I want to make you aware of that. A function is Strictly monotonic if it is always increasing or always decreasing. on the entire interval. 